Today we're taking a look at the Gamegenic Vanguard deck box. This is called the Cardfight Vanguard Nations Vault. This specifically is the Brant Gate. Now I don't play Vanguard. Um, I've only played a very tiny bit of it uh, to try it out at some point. But this is one of the, I think, five or six nations from the game. This is like a gray deck box. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this to see if it can be used for another Japanese game. In this case, Yu-Gi-Oh! Now you guys can see I have gloves on. Specifically, I don't want to get fingerprints on this metallic part. This is a plastic thing, um, little plastic lock. Um, it unfortunately tracks fingerprints and is my uh, first complaint about it. Um, but we're going to talk about some of the positives and specs for the deck box and get into is it worth it for the price uh, or is it more of a collector's item. First off, just looking at the very top, this is a debossed top featuring the Cardfight Vanguard logo and it looks quite nice. Each of these Nations Vault deck box has one. Again, this is the gray one, the Brant Gate specifically, uh, because I like the gray one the most. There are a couple of options to choose from. You guys will see that on the screen right now from the different nations. Um, and again, you don't actually have to really care for Vanguard, but I think so far this uh, we'll test it and we'll see how well it works with, uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, Gamegenic says that you can fit 50 double-sleeved cards here uh, because this is, again, specified specifically for uh, Vanguard cards. Vanguard decks are 50 cards exactly. Uh, no more, no less, and there are no extra kind of decks whatsoever. So, top, this deboss looks really, really nice. Um, this is uh, not a difficult effect to achieve, but it is imprinted enough to where you can feel it. Again, I can feel it uh, with the gloves um, and without the gloves. Um, but it doesn't um, distract from the rest of the box. This is not like going to catch on anything because it's just small enough of a deboss um, to, to, to get the desired effect while still looking really nice and professional without using any kind of foil. Here we have the lock. This is what helps keep the deck box in place. And it's okay. I, I Again, I don't really... The symbols are whatever. If you like Vanguard, it's cool. I would have preferred it to not be super shiny, but I understand the appeal. Um, that is, the, the, the whole look is to get the logo for each of the, the nations. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, I think they should have another version that's just like a matte instead of a high-gloss, reflective, metallic look. Um, because this is a little bit distracting, even with the with a light. It's not too much of an issue if you're just using it regularly, um, but it kind of doesn't work specifically with the gray one. The others, it kind of does work with the dark blue one and the dark red one. Um, but for the lighter colors like this gray, like the yellow one and like the pink one, not so much. And of course the Gamegenic logo on the back. Uh, it's, it's very minimal, so I think this is a good way to put a logo on a deck box. Um, I'm not a huge fan of stuff like Supreme Louis Vuitton where you have logos all the way across everything. Um, not really a good, uh, a good way to design products in the current year uh, and current decade. But this is a, an acceptable way without really distracting from the rest of the product because we'd rather have uh, the product be good rather than have some extra logos on here. So again, very, very small deck box. It's somewhat comparable to one of the other deck boxes they have, uh, looks a little bit smaller. It's barely smaller, maybe I would say four to six millimeters. Um, and this one uh, was released in 2021. This is a special edition. I'm not sure if it's still available for release, um, but this fits more cards but does not have a dice tray. You guys will see in a second. We're gonna open this up. It's also comparable to another um, sidekick from Game Genic. Um, this is another earlier release. I believe I purchased this in 2020. And um, this is these two are some of my favorite deck boxes ever, even though they don't have the dice trays. Uh, but this, uh, yeah, this is a little bit smaller than this one. Um, maybe by two millimeters, if that, when it comes to, to this. But uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look, open it up and see how it is. Um, I also want to mention that the packaging is as always with Gamegenic, fantastic. Um, absolutely love Gamegenic's packaging. Um, pretty minimal as far as the amount of things that are in here. There is a, a, a 
an extra flat piece that kind of folds out. Uh, you gotta kind of push it up. Um, it's not, it doesn't get in the way, it just helps protect the deck box a little bit more. Um, and of, of always they have this card as well. Great way, and their packaging, they have a very clear design that they want, and they want how everything to look, and I think it, it's a great way um, for their brand. It has the, the gradient up here and for the logo. Um, and then in the different uh, languages, the European languages, so we have German, French, Spanish and Italian is because Gamegenic is a German company and based in Germany and yeah so they have to be able to sell to the European Union um, that's sometimes why these are fairly expensive deck boxes um, unless you have the very basic designs like the Squire like the sidekick and like some of the watchtowers um, this one specifically is $35 $34.99 um, USD it has a bunch of the Vanguard branding I've seen. This, I, I don't read Japanese, but this, they, I guess they have this everywhere, but it's also in Japanese too. Um, now, it is basically the same size as one of the Squires, but it is far more expensive at the $35 price point. I'm sure it's just from licensing fees. Um, I don't know if this is going to be worth $35, I'm going to take a look in just a second, but I just wanted to bring it up. Again, so this is how it's intended to be used for Vanguard, you have the inside to be used for these cards, you start off Vanguard games with these cards here, and then you it's kind of like the extra deck for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, let's go ahead and open up the product to show exactly what it's like. So here it is. We have this nice uh, printed part, I do like the silver foil on the inside because it's small enough to not distract. But yeah, little plastic sleeves right here for your, your cards. Um, they are, I don't remember the exact name for them. You start off your Vanguard game with kind of like a commander character. Um, yeah, you put them here, you put the next stage here, and then you keep the other stages um, on the top of the deck in addition to your 50 card deck. For Yu-Gi-Oh specifically, which is what I want to focus on, you can use these for tokens. I have some Vanguard cards here. Um, now, it's a little difficult. Initially, this is a brand new box. I've, I've done this test once in this sleeve, and I have never used this one. It's a little difficult to get in there with a double sleeve, and uh, this, is, this uses two Dragon Shield sleeves, one outer sleeve, and one dual mat inner sleeve, so maybe it's better if we use um, just one sleeve again. This is specced. The actual deck box itself is specced for double sleeves, but uh, I guess we'll see if we can uh, put in a single sleeve and make it run a little bit better. Yeah, that's much easier. Uh, expected, of course, but I'm sure if you use double sleeve tokens in here enough, you'll be fine. Just make sure you don't put anything more than double sleeve. It will not fit. I almost attempted it with this quarter century Dante. I don't recommend it. Just stick to a single or double sleeve. Honestly, if your tokens are single sleeve anyway, it'll fit. Um, all of Vanguard cards are the same size as Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so there's gonna be no issue there. So you can fit both of these here um, for your tokens, and yeah, I mean, that's what it's for. I, I You cannot put random Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here, not allowed. Don't do it, um, just put tokens in here. Those, those will be fine, you can take those out or show that they're tokens. So here we have the actual box itself. You can see the box up here to hold the 50 double sleeve cards and the dice tray. Let's go ahead and focus on the dice tray. It, it just comes out very simply. I mean, it's a, a tiny little micro suede, I think they call it Nexo Fiber or something is their trademark version of, of this, this Korean uh, micro fiber and suede finish. Uh, yeah, I mean, it gets the job done. Let's go ahead and take a look at some Pokemon. Now this, I don't think it fits. Oh, I guess it does. It does fit Konami dice, which Konami dice are larger, at least the new ones. Um, they are much larger than regular sized dice, so it does work with these. So of course it's going to work with these Pokemon dice here. Uh, Pokemon Elite Trainer Boxes come with regular, these are like standard sized dice, and mini ones for damage. Um, you can see here, of course, that they fit. I mean, they're gonna fit. And of course, you guys saw on the packaging that there are these little damage counter blocks that can fit in here. I suspect for those as well. Um, you're mostly going to be using these size dice, but I'm sure you can fit like a D standard D20 in here. And of course, you're using this for, say, Pokemon. You really shouldn't have too many issues. 
um, even with the sleeves. We'll test that in a second though. But as far as uh, the dice go, I mean, it's it's a pretty much solved thing on products on deck boxes in 2023. It's really hard to get dice trays wrong, the removal ones, especially with Gamegenic because they know what they're doing. Um, they've been doing these deck boxes for I think, three or four years at this point, and they know how to make sure these are solid and they don't just fall apart. Um, speaking of the durability, it's actually really hard to flex this. Uh, even the, the, the sides somewhat flex, but this is really not something you're going to be doing too often. You're mostly going to be uh, taking it out of the deck box from this direction. And the microfiber will sometimes catch on the side, so you might see some rub marks after repeated use. That's expected, though, for these kind of deck boxes. Um, put this right in here. As far as the deck box compartment itself, again, the printed ink uh, silver look quite nice for this. So 50 double sleeved Japanese size cards will fit in here. That's a guarantee. Tested it. We're going to test it right now. I have a single sleeve tier limit deck right here. You can see it's the uh, very poorly put together main deck, uh, extra deck, and uh, fake side deck. I don't have a side deck for this. But these are in the, the extra deck is in Dragon Shield dual mat sleeves. The main deck is in um, glossy ultra pro sleeve. Side deck is in the same glossy ultra pro sleeve. So these are single sleeve and these are relatively thin sleeves. You're not really going to have too much thickness variation between them, but they are a little bit very, very tiny bit thinner than ultra pro sleeves. We're going to do a test right here and they all fit. Um, just barely though, keep that in mind. If you guys are seeing this, I'm, I'm holding this just to show you guys. They barely fit. Uh, you will be able to get away with this, but as far as double sleeves go, it looks like you will not be able to double sleeve your cards. Um, just a 40, 40 card Yu-Gi-Oh deck, 15 card extra deck, 15 card side deck in here with double sleeves. That will not work, but if you want to do single sleeves, this works perfectly fine. Shake test, I don't really care too much for these, but um, it seems like this is strong enough that the, the magnet on here is very, very resilient, and that's true for most Gamegenic deck boxes. Um, again, Gamegenic knows what they're doing with these. They've been doing this for a little while, at least, and they've taken over <laughs> the market quite a bit. Um, the one design difference between their regular deck box and this one is this little crevice right here. You can go ahead and take out the cards from the bottom right here. It provides just enough for leverage, and honestly, it's fine. Um, I, it doesn't take away from the box whatsoever. You really can't even see it unless you're looking for it, you know, just by looking um, from the top and, and from the side, but going from the bottom and up, and it's nice and easy to take out. Let me go ahead and see what it looks like with a double sleeve deck. This is a branded deck uh, called by the Graven here, of course. So this is double sleeve with Ultra Pro inner sleeves, dual mat uh, outer sleeves, or, or um, inner sleeves if you use a clear exterior sleeve, but these are double sleeved. So as far as double sleeving goes, which I prefer the clear inner sleeve and the like dragon shield outer sleeve. Um, a lot of people don't and that's fine, uh, but it will only fit your main deck. And let's see if, if it'll fit with the extra deck as well. So with the extra deck, these are dragon shield outer sleeves, dragon shield dual mat inner sleeves. It will also barely fit. So if you have an extra compartment, um, or you know, we'll test even the, the dice tray. Um, the dice tray looks like it will not fit these in double sleeve or sleeved at all. So you can put like regular cards in here. I don't recommend that if you're um, taking this route anyway, but you cannot fit your sleeves in the dice tray, unfortunately, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, if you have your uh, side deck in a different place, or you just want to carry it around with you. You can get away with the double sleeves, but if you don't double sleeve, which a lot of people still don't with Yu-Gi-Oh, perfectly fine. This will this will work um, for your single sleeve. But as far as the double sleeving goes, um, it, it works uh, to an extent. Uh, but I don't think this is good for for double sleeving. Um, now let's talk about the value for this. Now compared to, I would say Game Gen Game Genics other deck boxes, this product is a little overpriced at $35. I want to say that 
this old one was priced around 20. I don't remember the exact, you guys will see my, my receipt on the screen. You'll see some other um, comparisons of modern retailers. But for the price, this one definitely was the better value over the long term, specifically because you can fit your double sleeve cards. The crevice actually helps right here. I was able to pick that up in, in, in one motion without any issues. But this, this, keep in mind that this is a smaller one. This is much easier to put in your cards um, and take them out. Uh, the downside is there's no dice tray. Eventually, I will have a product that fixes that solution for Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys will see that in the coming months. Um, we also have other deck box in the work, but I'm going to make an actual post for that later. Again, as far as the value goes, I would say that if you really like Vanguard and you really like, or you really like the design and just single sleeve your cards, this deck box is fine. If the price doesn't matter too much for you, it's fine. Um, for the way it feels, the actually storing your cards, it's really good, um, of course, because it's game genic. Um, the experience, the ability to easily take out your cards and store them in such a small, compact box, it's good in that regard. Again, for the value, I don't think it's worth it compared to other game genic deck boxes, but I don't think they're really aiming for that. This product is, again, more so for Vanguard players who will use it for its intended purposes rather than for Yu-Gi-Oh, but for Yu-Gi-Oh single sleeve players, again, it's good. Um, 35, you guys can find them on sale. Sometimes they will sell this for $28. I think that's a fine, or at least a better price. Um, I still think that even for Vanguard players, probably 25 would have been a better target. But again, I understand the licensing fees. I'm sure they're expensive with Bushi Road. I've heard a bunch of stories about them. Maybe that's the case. Um, it very well could be. But uh, yeah, overall, I do like this. And if I single sleeve a deck to take to a tournament, I will definitely use this box. Otherwise, I'm not too sure. I'm going to also conduct a quick test with Pokemon Double Sleeve. I do have a Double Sleeve Pokemon deck available. And we're going to test that out. Um, it looks like it can fit the standard size sleeves. But I'm not sure if it'll fit them with with double sleeve cards we'll, we'll, we'll test that out um, i'm currently using game genix watchtower for uh, pokemon decks the, again these are going to be double sleeves so i still use the ultra pro inner sleeves i also use dragon shield dual mat outer sleeves exact same color as uh, the branded deck here all right this is a little bit i would say more than half the deck this is the rest of it. Pokemon, you have to have exactly 60 cards, no more, no less. As far as double sleeving goes, now these are relatively new sleeves. I've never used these in tournaments. I've also never used the inner sleeves at all in tournaments. Uh, entire thing is very, very fresh and new. It just barely goes above the top. You should be able to fit. I, I don't see you having any problems. Again, even though it's rising here, that's just because of the amount of air that's between each sleeve because they're so new. But if we close it up, you can still use this for Pokemon. So if you have a Pokemon deck, you like playing a Pokemon trading card game, um, this is actually perfect for you. Um, I still think it's a little, little more expensive than it should be for that purpose compared to other game genic products, but it is definitely serviceable. And the dice tray, Pokemon plays a bunch of dice uh, because of all the damage counters required. This is an official uh, dice holder and you have to play uh, a bunch of dice because again that's what's required um, but you can probably fit most or all these dice in here uh, very similar size it's it's a little bit bigger than this but that to account for the thickness of here um, overall i think this is really good for pokemon specifically but because this is mostly a Yu-Gi-Oh oriented channel i wouldn't say that you would the, that you should purchase this unless it is for single sleeve if you single sleeve there you go i think this is a really good compact deck box in that regards otherwise use a slightly more economic uh, or economical um, deck box whether it be from game genic whether it be from anyone else again you guys we'll talk about um, the, the deck box and products we're going to be featuring on the channel soon but overall i like this don't think it's worth it uh, specifically for Yu-Gi-Oh for the price, but for Vanguard, for Pokemon, I think it's good.